what is perception is itself a fascinating question because I think most of us take it for granted, right? We wake up in the morning, we open our eyes, and the world just seems to pour itself into our mind transparently, as if we can, as if there's nothing special going on. We just open ourselves to the world, and there it is. You know, Alan was saying it's all about uh, noticing things, training ourselves to notice what's going on. This is really hard because it doesn't seem like we have to. It seems like the world just presents itself to us. Um, and in fact, a common way to study and think about perception is that the brain sort of reads out the world from sensory information that flows into the eyes, into the ears, through the skin when you touch things, and that there's like a, a little you, a mini me inside my skull, the self, that is the recipient of all this information, that is doing the perceiving. Now, a long tradition in philosophy and neuroscience and the tradition that I'm working on too, turns that on its head. And it suggests that what we perceive doesn't come so much from the outside in, but from the inside out. And that the self isn't the thing that does the perceiving, the self is itself a kind of perception. Yeah.